gravity is one of the four fundamental forces of nature. It is responsible for keeping us on the ground and for the orbits of planets and moons. However, what many people are unaware of is that gravity has the potential to generate light as well. This process is thought to have been responsible for the first light in the universe, which is known as the cosmic microwave background radiation. How gravity can produce light? There are two main ways that gravity can produce light, through parametric resonance and through the acceleration of charged particles. Parametric resonance. Parametric resonance is a process where two or more waves interact to create a new wave with a higher frequency and energy. In the early universe, the density and temperature were so high that gravity could have created light through parametric resonance. Gravitational waves are ripples in space-time caused by massive objects, such as black holes and neutron stars. In the early universe, gravitational waves would have been very strong, and they would have interacted with each other to create standing waves. These standing waves would have been very powerful and could have excited the electromagnetic field, causing it to emit light. Acceleration of charged particles. Gravity can also produce light by accelerating charged particles to very high energies. This happens in the vicinity of black holes, where the intense gravity can bend and distort light, and it can also create shockwaves in space-time. These shockwaves can accelerate charged particles to very high energies, which can then emit light. One example of this is jets of material that are ejected from black holes. These jets can travel at speeds close to the speed of light, and they can emit a variety of types of radiation, including light. Other examples of gravity producing light. In addition to the two main ways described, there are a few other examples of gravity producing light. For example, gravity can cause light to bend and distort, as it passes through the gravitational field of a massive object. This is known as gravitational lensing. Gravity can also cause light to redshift, which means that the wavelength of the light is stretched out. This happens because light travels slower in a strong gravitational field. Gravity is a very weak force when compared to other forces in nature, such as the electromagnetic force. However, in very extreme conditions, gravity can produce light. This is a fascinating area of research, and it is helping us to better understand the nature of gravity and the universe. While gravity cannot produce enough light to power a light bulb, it is possible to harness the power of gravity to create artificial light. For example, scientists are working on developing devices that could use gravitational lensing to focus light from distant stars, making them brighter and easier to study. Another possibility is to use the gravitational energy of black holes to generate light. This could be done by extracting energy from the black hole's accretion disk which is a swirling cloud of gas and dust that is falling into the black hole. While these technologies are still in their early stages of development, they have the potential to revolutionize the way we generate light and energy in the future. Thank you for watching. I hope you learned something new about gravity and light. Be sure to subscribe to our channel for more videos on space.